Welcome back to another Daily Recap. Today is Wednesday, November 6, 2024, the day after the election. Market seems to like what happened yesterday. Futures pushed price way up, so it's kind of unusual to not have where price was. You can't see where price was the day before. It's way down here because in the open se- in the overnight session, price climbed like 140 points or so. So they're currently around 590, which is in the middle of this. And when we come back to this chart after the closing bell, we'll see where price is. And there could be some reactions at these levels, but like yesterday, I personally have no intention of trading. Just going to sit back and probably not even watch. It was kind of nice yesterday just to put it aside. But clearly, the market likes the outcome of the election, and they're going somewhere, and they're getting close to 600 or 6,000 in the, in the E-minis. But I'm not saying it's going to happen. I don't know. don't want to predict. In fact, like I said, for this week, I'm not really going to do any type of analysis. Just going to find the levels, put them out there, talk about what happened after the closing bell. And I'll just wait until the dust settles, either into this week or next week sometime before I kind of get back into the driver's seat. In any case, we'll take a look at whatever happens after the closing bell. Catch you on the other side. We're back. It's about 8.30. I believe we can make this recap move along pretty quickly. So after a huge gap up at the open, the SPY started heading back down into this level. Remember, they were way down here somewhere. At yesterday's close. So they hit this level a few minutes right before 10 o'clock a.m. And by the way, when volatility and volume is increased, which it was today, adjusting the levels with the usual five cent buffer toward price to snag trades, it's really not as important. It's reasonable to expect there to be bigger swings on days like this. So after a gap up like this morning, every trader is on high alert. Bull bear battles will usually be more pronounced with bigger price swings at our levels. The market did settle in after a while, but early on, this long trade at 585.70 was the money spot. It was simply a matter of understanding that price was likely to move around more than usual, so trading the levels could mean giving them more wiggle room. I mention this in general terms as a teachable moment because these two levels that the SPY hit today, they were precise enough. It would not have been surprising, though, to see them spike first before they they found support. In this case, it worked pretty well. Also, if it's just another day in the market, you don't have unprecedented things going on, a near miss of a level like you see right here could be a reason that you would want to second guess trading a level. You can see that price got down pretty close within 10 cents, pulled away before they actually got down into the level and hit it. But you know that the big picture is still very bullish. So if you did choose to put money at risk by trading this level today, your best bet was to be on the long side for the day at least. The near miss here was less important in other words. While I do trade on this one minute chart, as you know, I'm looking at several longer time frame charts while I'm trading. It's the longer time frames that provide the data needed to manage trades appropriately. So it's just a matter of like waiting this out, looking at five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute charts and seeing what's going on and giving trades time to develop. This took just a few minutes. There will be signals at some point after things settle down a bit that could clue us into another pullback, but today was likely to be still bullish. It was basically a continuation of all the excitement and the fervor of the previous day in the overnight session. It's hard to stop a bull. So anyway, going long at 585.70 was your money trade for the day. I've received a couple emails from traders who are getting my levels in the morning, and they have told me that they are treating these levels kind of as like entry points and targets instead of just an entry point only and then a quick four to six point base hit. So in other words, like they would go long at this level and just hold this position until it gets up to the next level higher. And like today's case, that would have represented like what, uh, about almost 50 points, 50 ES points. So if you can do that, that's awesome. If I traded this level in the morning, I did. I, I told you I'm not taking any trades this week. But if I had traded this level, you know what I would have done? You've seen this happen a lot. I would have bought at least two contracts at this level, take part of the position off at a decent base hit, and then trail the rest of the position for more points. Sometimes that works great, uh, but oftentimes, unless I have plenty of points on that trailer, I'll get stopped out like before price gets to the next level. However you want to trade these levels, you should be noticing by now, if you've been following along and watching these daily recap videos, that these levels have an uncanny ability to be exactly where price reverses. Many times it's just enough for a nice quick base hit, but sometimes, like today, this level could have given you dozens of points and possibly many thousands of dollars. First official trade down here, they reversed, kept climbing. If you wanted to go short up at 590.60 when the spiders hit that, that was a good spot for resistance, as you can see. So pulling another four points took a few minutes. They actually came down about eight points. So depending on how you manage the trade, you may have been able to squeeze more than just a base hit. So two official trades for the day. 
Here are the logs. The first one is the plain by the rules log, AKA PBR. And here's are the two levels if you were to treat them as a process, eight points or more. And then Sam's trades is, I'm tracking my own trades here and nothing for the last few days, two levels that were hit, no trades taken. You can just take a look at all the percentages and totals to date. So that's it for this recap. I appreciate each of you and for following along with these daily recaps. I hope you're learning things. That's kind of why I'm doing it. If you're interested in learning more and maybe want to try these daily levels out for yourself, check out the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with new levels. And as I've mentioned before, I'm probably going to sit out the day again tomorrow, watch from the sidelines. But if I see something really enticing developing in real time, maybe I'll jump in. I won't know until I know. See you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.